Vintage Postcards Part 7, the final chapter. Welcome, thanks for joining me. Let's take a look at this. Let's dive right in. And let's get it done. I feel like this is kind of dusty. It's been sitting here on the table in the corner for a few days. And I've been wanting to finish this, this video series so that I could put all of these postcards together back inside of the Lost in Space lunchbox where they belong. So we're going to return uh, this stack to the to the other full stack as soon as we're done with the video. Let's take a look. It says Aloha. Honolulu, Hawaii, April 30th, 1964. Oh, that's cool. Eleanor Rasp from San Jose, California. Let's see what it says right here. Hawaiian Views. John Rogers Terminal of Honolulu International Airport. Fanny and Clyde. Okay, let's see. Honolulu, Hawaii, April 30th. Hi. Having a fine vacation in very beautiful hotel. We flew to all and around the island yesterday, 860 miles. Very enjoyable. The grass skirts were made there three dollars so i didn't buy one for you okay is that expensive hope you're well we are and having a great time love fanny and clyde maybe three dollars for a grass skirt was expensive in 1964 it probably was it seems expensive international marketplace is this hawaii again it looks like it let's see waikiki 6 p.m. out on Waikiki Beach, 1965. International Marketplace in Waikiki where food, entertainment, and shopping are offered. Our first time out and the sun is setting, two big ships off on the horizon. So far, so for, so far we've been at the Princess Kialani, tomorrow we fly to Maui, stay one night, then to Hawaii, have someone to meet us at Kona, stay the night, then rent a car and drive to Hilo with lunch at the Volcano House, 9.20 p.m. But I didn't get to finish, now it is 10 p.m. Wednesday, we toured, I don't know that name of that valley, Lahaina, uh, Kanapali Hotel in Sheraton, Maui. We rented a small compact car and felt we really saw things on our own. Okay, nice. Aloha, Selma. That's nice. 1965. Imagine how beautiful all those places were in 65, like Kanapali. Wow. The Maui in 65 would have been just absolutely beautiful. I mean, it's always beautiful, but it would have been amazingly uh, underdeveloped in 1965. This is Yosemite, the Great Falls, or what is this called? Great Falls in Yosemite? Steamboat. I'm completely wrong. Why did I... This certain, This is a Steamboat Springs, Colorado. I really thought that this was Yosemite for some reason, but it's not. It's Steamboat Falls. No, Steamboat... Fish Creek Falls, one of the beauty spots near Steamboat Springs, Colorado. I haven't been to Steamboat Springs. Uh, I used to live in Denver. Dear Eleanor, suppose you are on your trip too. We are having a lovely time seeing the Mesa Verde tomorrow. It is terribly hot here. We'll soon be home again. Love, Florence. It's a nice card. I like that. So this is a neat card. First of all, it's a beautiful shot. But then what's cool about a card like this is when you zoom in a little bit like this, you can tell that it's a long time ago by how everybody is dressed, by how they all look. This looks like the 60s. 1964. Heaven's Peak. Looking at Heaven's Peak through West Side Tunnel on going to the Sun Highway in Glacier National Park. I have never been there. 
It's beautiful. I don't think, I'm pretty sure I have not been there. Dear Eleanor, I'm sure you were on a trip also, but I can't help thinking of you. We are having such a beautiful trip. Something about Banff, Jasper, Calgary. Then it's Florence again, and sometimes I just get impatient like that. We're really, this is going to be a short, quick video, you guys. Kobo's Center, Kobo City Center Lodge in Klamath Falls, Oregon. Kobo's City Center Lodge. Look at that car. What is that? Is that a Chevy Bel Air? Station wagon? What is that called? A, a, um, a Nomad? A Nomad station wagon? <laughs> Look at this picturesque shot of Klamath Falls. The heck? Look at the background. Wow. Okay. Klamath Falls, Oregon. 1962 from San Fernando, California. Granada Hills, California is where it was written. Dear Mrs. Rasp, the, we reached Granada Hills safely Saturday evening after staying at Klamath Falls Thursday night and at Alice's home on Friday night, and of course, at Portland on Wednesday night. We've had a very wonderful time here and have just become busy. I've neglected to drop you a line before we will, Bob. Okay, so uh, we thank you so much for everything. This is Yosemite. Okay. Well, that last one looked nothing like the majesty of the Great Falls in Yosemite National Park. No, I'm wrong. It's Yellowstone. This is the Great Falls, the Great Falls in Yellowstone. So I have been here, but for some reason I'm, I was thinking that this is Yosemite. It really looks a lot like there's falls like this in Yosemite too, but this is the one, this is the Great Falls that's in Yellowstone. Uh, I have been here, but it was only once as a, as a child when I was 10. Pearl. We saw, it was, it was a great vacation. We saw the uh, Old Faithful and we stayed at the Yosemite Lodge, which was a beautiful place. Saturday, 8 a.m. on the train headed east. It was good to visit with you in Seattle, especially nice to see you so spry and on the go. Eleanor should certainly be proud of her children and their children. Excuse this train penmanship. That's nice. Union Pacific Railroad pictorial postcard. So she must have bought this Pocatello. She must have bought this on the train. That's neat. I like it. It's one of those old cards. Once again, this is October 16th of 64. That stamp. It's one of those old cards that has that kind of non-glossy finish. Wow, we have two cards left. Grand Canyon? The Grand Canyon from Moran Point. Grand Canyon National Park. Dearest Mother, at last I'm getting to see the Grand Canyon. It is really breathtaking. We left... Roberta with Monica and Pop and are taking off for a few days. We are seeing the East Rim from the city of Grand Canyon. Plan to stay tonight in Flagstaff and tomorrow I'm in for Vegas and home on Monday. Love Florence and Bob. Last card. Where's this? Germany? I mean, that's my first instinct, is that this is somewhere in... I don't know, though. I mean, the statue looks like... looks German, doesn't it? Copenhagen. 1966. Mrs. Edith Thor? 
This is the only card we have for this person. So the person that's writing this is definitely, this is, uh, English is a second language or a third language for this person. This penmanship and this pen, and this doesn't look like an English speaker to me or an English writer. This looks like a person who's learning. Dear Edith, hope you have good health. Oh boy, my intuition was telling me correctly. This looks like somebody who writes in German to me. I'm just being honest. It just does. Or Danish or whatever this is. Dear Edith, hope you have good health. Here it go a little up and down. Yesterday, I have two letters from Tom. I believe we will get a prize writing together. Oh, that's... that's I might go slow on this one, you guys. I want to go back over this paragraph. Dear Edith, with an exclamation point, hope you have good health. Here it go a little up and down. Yesterday I have two letters from Tom. I believe we will get a prize writing together. It is fine to have seen and spoken with him, with him and his very sweet wife. Hope we not got a strong winter here. Last then was long and cold. Hope to heard one little word from you. Please regard to disorder. Please regard to... What is that? On kind regards to you from Anna, I think. Please regard to... I don't know. I like this card a lot. Advise your correspondence or publishers of your correct mailing address. So she's in Fresno, and there's no zip code because it's 1964 or something, 1966. And she was on Crooks Avenue, but then she had moved to Willamette, and so the post office put a, a line through the old address, and it, it found its way to her. It's an unusual name, Thor. Is that Thor? Is that Thor, you guys? It's here again, too. Interesting, huh? What is this statue? Into the future, dreaming about home, sculpted by Paul Sundergaard. Jen Foreningsblad, Copenhagen. And then it has a Danish stamp, Denmark. And that must be Copenhagen up there, too. Copenhagen, Denmark. So, do you think that this person is Danish that wrote this? It's interesting. I really like it. Hope to heard one little word from you. Hope to heard one little word from you. I believe we will get a prize written together. Writing together. Thanks for watching. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the series if you were a viewer of all seven episodes. And hope you have a fantastic day or evening or morning. And I'll talk to you next time. Bye-bye.